here, Brawl. Ah! Oh, I'm die. Thank you, Hueba. What? Okay. So, April was a bit of a clusterfuck, to put it lightly. I had a few plans on like two or three videos, but then a little thing called the uh, Easter holidays happened at my job. We were open every day. I'm a team leader there. I do what I can for my team. We were severely short staffed, so on days where I was playing, okay, I'm gonna wake up early, I'm gonna uh, script here, record here, or grab the footage here. What's that? You need me to come in? All right, let's go. That, that sums up all of April. Uh, I am planning on recording a video to talk about my thoughts about Spy X Family and the controversy that's surrounding it. Quote unquote controversy! Goodbye. And also, finally, get to my Demon Slayer reviews since the Entertainment arc has ended so I can just... I was planning on doing it like way earlier, but then like when season two was released, I was just like, well, I might as well wait now. But yes, both are in production, but for now, feed me. I'm hungry. <coughs> this is a gift from a friend of mine, Adam. You know my friend, Adam. Who's husband or waifu have you got under that bed? Husband or waifu? Husband or waifu? Quiet. Both! <gasps> uh, he gave me something called Poppin' Cookin'. And thought it'd be really neat for me to put it together, and I just thought, eh, why not? Let's just, uh, record it for a video for you guys. As you can see, I got a camera here and here to demonstrate everything that I'm doing. We are making Tanoshi hamburgers. These are candied hamburgers. Let's jump right into it. Cooking is so fun! Cooking is so fun! Step one! Wow. Uh, we actually had to, like, uh, cut up a few things here and there to make this work. Um, just to get everything all nice and prepared, but it has instructions on the back on what to do, what to cut up, what to prepare, and such. And also have some water as well. Add a triangle cup of water to the ri rigged rigid bottom tray i can read add powder from the blue packet okay this here is the potato packet potatoes potato freaking dingo doodles making me say potatoes like that because of coffee it's your potassium triangle for water i'm good at this and there we go and now a little bit of a Coming from the bag. So we will add that. It was just one triangle full of water. I almost <laughs> filled it, and that was my husband. My husband has a cold. It's not COVID. He's taking so many tests. I just hate it when you get a cold and people are like, is there COVID? And you take your test, and it's like, no, it's not COVID. Mix until the dough thickens. So we shall mix. Mix, 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 mix. It still feels gritty, so I'm gonna stir a bit more. There, I think that should do it. It's absorbed all the water. What's next? Spread and flatten using your fingers. Turn over the tray and remove after hard and cut along the lines. Okay. So we just get a little squishy. Remember to wash your hands before doing this. You also bought me two packets in case I mess up. My friends have confidence in me. No confidence! I'm trying to show you for the camera. See, I'm trying to flatten it. Trying to like, uh, my perception is off. There, I think I should do it. I'm pressing as hard as I can so I can get that shape that it's saying. You wanted me to press it down. Oh, there it goes. And cut using the knife that the packet gives you. And cut. This is supposed to give us our French fries. There's something of uh, Japanese candies and some of them being like DIYs for burgers and such. Being about a gamer has done a few of those. All right, sir and or madam, I have your Happy Meal. I'm sorry, it took about two hours, 23 minutes and five seconds. Yeah, we got our French fries done. I'm sure you can find these at any um, trading goods that sell Japanese products near you. But if not, I'll leave a link down below. Uh, step two, add four triangle cups of water to the star tray. Oh, that's star tray. Th this one right here. One, two, three, four. 
Add powder from the orange packet. Beach one right here. Spread and flatten using your fingers. And just remember this is all candy. Can you imagine if it actually tastes like burgers and fries? That'd be weird. So I guess this is supposed to create the burger patties. No, not burger patties, the uh, burger buns. Mmm, buns. I got the buns! Says you. I'll turn it here so you guys can see the mixing process. Very exciting content stuff. It feels so sugary. So much sugar. There is, that should do it. Mix until the dough combines. Divide dough in half. Fill two sections. Just making sure I got all of the dough, quote unquote. And divide in half. And <laughs> this box is in the way. There we go. See, look at what I'm doing. Press, 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 press. And that should do it. I think I'll just leave them in here so they'll just solidify for now. And now, the burger meat. Add four triangle cups of water to the star tray again. One, two, three, four. Add powder from the brown packet. Mix well. Fill the spade section. I'm guessing it's this one. Label each of them with like stars and shapes and such. But they also get like pictures and instructions on the back, so you know what to do. And this stuff is supposed to be for kids, so kids are supposed to know what they're doing. Durr. The meat. Uh, parents are asking their kids, like, hey, what did you have at school? I had a cheeseburger. And it was just candy. Kids are getting deceptive these days. Okay, so I said I had four triangle cups, but so slushy. Oh, it'll become firm in 10 minutes. Okay. So it has to be mushy. Add powder from the brown packet, mix well, fill the spade section until it's full. It will become firm in 10 minutes. Interesting. So I guess we gotta wait 10 minutes, hold on. Oh my God, this smells like chocolate. <laughs> oh my God. What is this? Um, there's a section there where you pour. How considerate. <laughs> Step four, don't drop the stuff. There. Perfect. That, that looks appetizing. Maybe Phantom Strider should do a video on like weirdest Japanese candies. Oh, we're going to the cheese section. Triangle cup of water to the rigid bottom tray. Add powder from the yellow packet. Mix and knead. Okay, so we're gonna put those aside. Just one triangle. This is how we make our cheese. Anyone go to a school where they gave you milk from a plastic bag. I remember when my school converted to that. I went to Goshen Elementary School in Augusta, Georgia, and in the second grade the cafeteria ladies had to go from classroom to classroom, I think it was the first grade actually, telling us about uh, the new uh, milk from a bag. Right, I'm gonna wash this spoon so I can mix the cheese, because we don't want no cross-contaminations here. Anyone else remember a uh, Goofy movie? It's the Leaning Tower of Cheesa. It's the Leaning Tower of Cheesa. <laughs> I think some of the cheese is getting stuck in the ridges. I think they only wanted you to use this method because the uh, other tray is just covered in uh, meat patty. We like mix in meat. I'm gonna get some of the cheesy stuff out of there. Just treat it like blue tack. When you get blue tack stuck in the wall, hi, what do you do? Remove it. Use more blue tack. Mix and knead. Spread and flatten evenly to match the shape and size of the packing pouch. And then cut in half. So I guess we'll take the packet and we'll try to flatten it. Cut it in half. Maybe we'll use this to, there we go. Flatten her down. There. Form it in the shape of a rectangle. Actually, let's just squeeze it like this. And then peel. Try to spread it out as much as possible so we can get as much cheese as possible. Cheese is love, cheese is life. Cheese for everyone! Scraping along here, I think I'm dealing with cocaine, but no. Deal with something better. Cheese. Yeah, close enough. And now, add a triangle cup of water to the rigid bottom tray. Add the red packet. That one. So we're just gonna just be on the safe side. I hate it when you try to go along the ridges and then it betrays you. And then there's powder everywhere. Because I've been 
ten minutes since the thing's hard, and I don't think it has. Because we're almost at the finale. Triangle of water! And there's our ketchup. Gotta stir it up. Mmm, okay. <laughs> it smells like strawberries. Yummy strawberry sauce. Add powder from the red packet and mix up, and that's it. Yes, officer, it is strawberry sauce. You wanna like it? Okay, I think we used up all of our packets except for this one. It's gelatinous, but I don't think it's hardened yet. So we're gonna give it some time. A few moments later. Okay, so I think it's done. This way, Robin, yes. Because this is a little gelatinous. So, step six. Pile up ingredients. Remove the buns and the patty from the tray. Cut each bun in half using the knife. Cut the patty into three. Oh, let's do this. It's actually solidified pretty well, wow. These candy makers know what they're doing. They would have imagined this came from powdered in water. Alright, so divide them in threes. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing the, uh, what it's supposed to look like, so let's try to do this in threes. Yeah, kinda worked, yeah. There we go. Okay. Stack the buns, patties, cheese, and ketchup on top of each other any way you'd like. Let's, uh, do this. And then this. And then the ketchup. Oh my goodness, it's so practically so solid. Almost like a jelly. So decorative when they pour their tomato sauce. We'll try our best to do to replicate it. Let's so need to save some for our Frenchy fries. Alright, leave a comment down below. Do you put uh, ketchup on top of your fries or leave it on the side? How do you have your uh, French fries? We're in Australia. Chaps. One cheeseburger done. Uh, the sauce is getting everywhere. <laughs> and the double cheeseburger. And last but certainly not least, the soda. Fill the cup with water up to the lined mark. Add powder from the purple packet, then mix. <laughs> yeah, did it. All right, so the line is here, like along here. There we go. And now add the packet. I'm gonna use scissors because I don't want powder to go everywhere. Ah, it's fizzing! Oh my god, look at that! Uh oh. <laughs> don't! Don't! <laughs> Please, no. Okay, I think we're safe. I'll use this to stir it a bit. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. Alright, so we have two burgers. And fries. Don't they look yummy? Alright, first we made the uh, fries. Let's have one by itself and then we'll have it with the sauce. So, itadakimasu. <laughs> oh my god. It's, it tastes like bubble gum. <laughs> Alright then, let's try it with the sauce. Okay. See, I don't know what it is with Japan and their strawberry flavors, but it's phenomenal. Wow. Now, as for the burgers, let's try the uh, single burger in one bite. Like, some will just be like, hey, nah, nah. but no. We're gonna chow down on this in one bite. Here we go. Oh. What? Okay, seriously, it tastes like ice cream. With the chocolate patty. I think the buns are like vanilla. With the strawberry sauce. <laughs> right in my lap. Don't worry guys, it's still edible. <laughs> it's only a little airborne, it's still good. It's just a little airborne. It's still good, it's still good. Five second rule. And finally, the soda. Honestly, this one looks more questionable than everything else, but uh. It actually smells like cola. Yep. Hmm. It definitely tastes like a watered-down cola. Like RC Cola, actually. Not Coke, not Pepsi, RC Cola. There you have it. <laughs> uh, candied, fries, burger, soda. Well, was on this fun. <laughs> This is from the Papa and Cookin' Box. Thanks again, Adam, for giving me this. He gave me two in case I messed up, but I didn't!
Kind of. One fell, but I saved it. And it was tasty. Well, apparently I added too much water to the soda, but oh well. Still tasted nice. If you guys want me to do more of these Japanese DIY candies or try any more candies from Japan, whether they be the popular ones, weird ones, um, festive ones, anything, just uh, leave a comment down below. And again, answer that question. How do you have your french fries? Chips. However you call them. Potatoes. Potato. Coming up next will probably be my thoughts on Spy X Family since there's only three episodes out. It will kind of like be in the format of first episode impressions, but I will watch the first three episodes and also discuss about the non controversies that uh, Twitter and TikTok are trying to impose on this show, but uh, it's just people trying to ruin good things for everyone. But stick around for that, and then after that will be my Demon Slayer review. Thank you all so much for watching. More awesome videos will be on the way, so stay tuned. Anime America. Bye!